Let us continue with our lesson and today we will go and learn about the another method on our data source. So let's go and close uh, this one first and I will go to the data source over here and on the method node I will just right click and I will override a method of a create. So let's override a create method. So just click on this one and we have a super method. So after super method let me try to info this out I am info info and I will info as a text or sorry I say string and I'll just say create and I will just say as a data source create yeah that should be fine just save this one and now let us try to open the form so let me go to the project and open the form so you can see that uh, we have a data source init, form init, run, and we have data source init value, and we have a data source create. So after the init value, we have a create method is here. So after init value, which is the initialization of all of the value of your field, then we have a create method. So the create method is called whenever the new, new uh, record is created over here. Like let's say we go and create a new record, you can also see that first is the init value is called then after init value we have a uh, ds or a data source create method trigger so what i will do is uh, let me close the form and uh, whenever you try to open the form again the record is no more because uh, the init value we have initialized a value but we haven't saved it right so what i will go to my code is i will just view all of the code first from here and on the uncreate, what we will do is we will use a same as this one. It's a, I will fill up the date or a date of birth. And let's go over here and let's try to fill this field as employee date of birth is equals to today. And I'll also fill out the name data emp employee table dot emp employee name let's say employee name is uh, equals to uh, I'll just give us a demo name and let us also try to fill in the jet emp employee dot the employee id which equals to uh, let's give a string value of uh, 001 and that should be okay and let me save this one first and what I will try to do is uh, let me try to open the form one more time. Open it. So uh, we have filled in the values and you can see it's the same as the init value. So initialize the init value and we have a create. So on init value we have initialized the date of birth and on uh, sorry yeah date of birth and on create we have also initialized the date of birth, employee name and employee ID. So let us try to close this form and uh, what I will do is I will try to reopen the form and you can see that now the form the value is been saved. So whenever we create a new record let's create a new record then that field will be the value will be automatically filled from our on create method which is a create method from here and now if you try to close this form and if you try to open it back the record is saved. So which means that the onCreate method over here, the create method, sorry, not the onCreate, it's a create method that we have overwritten over here in our data source is a thing that whenever we create a new record in our, in our form and that will be triggered a save command in our data source. So init value, the init value method, we can populate the value for our initial value for our field but it will the field value will not be saved whenever we close a form but if we override the create method and we do some uh, value initialization in our create method then whenever a user close that form then that value will be automatically saved to our data source so if if you want to specify a field value and that should be saved automatically to the database whenever user close or leaves the form then we should make use of a create method so that's all for this video and we'll continue with our lesson on the next video till then have a great day